Good morning, art buddies. Look, I don't even have my camera right. Oh my gosh. I was trying to find my husband. I know he's going to run out and do some errands, but I wanted to see where he was. I couldn't find him. Look, I don't have my lighting right. And then I decided, oh, I don't really have my drink. I know I'm going to be thirsty from yapping and talking. And now I see I don't have the right light plugged in. Let's see. So good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Grab a seat. Teresa said, hurry up. The bus is on its way. Okay, unplug the sewing machine. Plug in the new light. Let's see. We can make that. <clears throat> oh, now that looks really dark. See, I usually have all this done. I've been a naughty, naughty gal. Well, Let's do this. If we get a lot of jumping around, I might have to make some uh, different choices light wise. But let's see. Let's see how that goes. I've got a basket of goodies. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. So I see Angela's here and Shaz, Candy, and Teresa. Morning, ladies. Okay, so I've got my water. I've got crafting water. Ah, okay. So, as you can see, I'm not super, super duper overly organized this morning. Good morning, Kathleen. All right, let's put this out of the way for just a moment. I'm getting myself rearranged here. You can see all the cruds on my desk. All the cruds. All right, this is what we're going to be working in today. This is the journal I put together a little while ago. And I'm just going to do a quick measurement here. Seven. Yeah, seven by five. I think this is probably my favorite size to do. There's Kitty Jen. Good morning, Jen. All right. I've got paper towels here, too. Stole some from the kitchen. Ah. I fell asleep so early last night in my chair. Woke up around hmm, 10, 30, quarter to 11. Touched base with a few friends. I was awake for maybe, mm, I don't know. I'll say an hour. And I went back to sleep again. And then I was awake at five this morning. Put on new nails. And um, I guess I was awake till around seven. And then I decided, oh, I better grab another little nap. A little nap, or I'm not going to be awake for my my stream. I'm looking for something to cover my dear old friend here. Another piece of this washi tape would work. I bought this washi tape because I thought it was really pretty. But you know what? It's, it's hard for me to use it because it's so wide. I can't really get a lot off at a time now see it's gonna make a it's gonna make a liar out of me do, 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 do. oh yeah this might work <gasps> nope there it goes sherry van good morning i really do like my glass mat and i could switch it out i guess when i stream but i gotta tell you i'm a lazy person i am a lazy bow lazy lazy and I'm not streaming every day or recording every day, you know, like some some folks do. So it's just annoying for me. Look, I didn't I don't get I didn't get it right. There's Mitzi. Hi Mitz. How are you? How the heck are you? Hi Kathy. Good morning. Oh now we get to hear the neighbors. 
hubby's talking to the neighbors. All right, so what I thought I'd do first is walk through this journal. I don't think I've decorated or put anything in it other than putting it together. So I just want to get a feel for feel for it and then I've started to pull out some stuff that I think I want to put inside and use up things in my stash so I want to work the stash today now if you're new to uh, this kind of art art journaling or you're a replayer and you're watching when we say stash we just mean our supplies goodies and bits and little bobs that we've been sometimes hoarding and holding on to to use in a future project and if you're like me sometimes I hold on to things a little too long so just a couple of things to mention right at the very beginning uh, if you need for me to see something if you put it in caps that's so helpful for me it's easier for me to catch um, something in capital letters it's not you know a crime to do that here let me move my computer a little closer oh that's better and if you have any questions you know certainly um put them out there hey there's Kimberly uh, you see on my screen my screen I put please subscribe I was trying to figure out now I'm streaming from StreamYard, and it will not let you just have at least I haven't found where it is so if someone knows and you can tell me that would be very helpful um, but I can't figure out how to get rid of this little bubble here where I have to put my name or put something in there. I can't just leave it blank. It won't let me get into the screen because I think sometimes that's bothersome to have that there. Oh, no, I see banners over here to the side. Well, I'm not going to fuss around with it right now. I might fuss around with it later, but that's why I changed it. I took, I took off my... Um, email address and I put the please subscribe there because I wanted something smaller something a little smaller okay so there's a good amount of us here so let's get rocking and rolling so I put this journal together and you know what quite frankly I don't remember how long ago I did it so I just took a book cover I covered it with some it looks like some kind of uh, muslin type fabric and then I Used a stencil and got the uh, imprint, like a little shadow. Put a doily on, some book page. This was a piece of, I don't know, it looks like the top of a underwear to me, but simply natural. It was a tag, I guess. No, look, it's, too, it's really long. Put on some of my button trim you know just added a few things of course some cheesecloth very really very simple this is uh you know you get those samples of um i don't even know where i got them actually of upholstery fabric so that's that and then just did my signatures let's see this someone has three signatures so we're just i'm just walking through to just reacquaint myself with what i did kind of get a look uh for the journal and the colors this is a stamperia um what do they call it rice paper all right so i've got some pinks going on looks like a little naturey there's a little bit of thread i left hanging some Tim Holtz. Okay. So I want to make some pockets. Now this is going to be a problem because this has attached itself to something. Let's snip, snip that. Trim those off. So I might be making some 
tags or some clusters. I'm really not sure. Doing some stamping. Good morning, Marty. Okay, somebody's celebrating something all week. Oh, it's Mitzi's birthday. Hey, Mitz, I'm an August baby, too. Happy birthday. Okay, let's see. Just wandering through. Okay. Okay, I'm sure I had plans and ideas for what I wanted to do when I put it together. But it's been a little, a little bit, so... I have to decide if I want that to be a tip out or a pocket. So it looks like I tried to do some stitching before I put my signatures together. She looks like she's had a really rough day. Little poems, some gardening stuff. So it's kind of eclectic, kind of all over the place here. And of course, that works. Okay, that's a pocket. Some Edith Holden. Very good. Very good. Painty paper. So I hope you're, oh, look, there's a little tuck spot. All righty. I might have to get out some paper. Oh, thank you, Mitz. Thanks, Mitz. I've probably got you beat on the age scale, though. Whoo! Okay, yeah, I remember that page. All right, so there's lots to do. I want to remember to leave some places for journaling. Now, this is not for me. This is for me to hopefully sell at some point. Uh, those of you that come here regularly or follow my channel, you probably pretty much have picked up on. Um, I'm pretty much a maker. I just, I like to make. I like to create and to make. Okay, so this is a little odd there, isn't it? It looks like the page didn't fit in and somehow I folded it weird. Hey, good morning, Riri. Who else did I meet and miss? Function of light. Hi, Andrea. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Gee, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Name that movie. Go. Okay. So what I'd like to do when I'm working uh, on a project, I'm working by myself, just sitting at my desk doing whatever. Um, when I'm working on a project like this and it's time to decorate my pages, which is one of my favorite things. Um, I really do enjoy the whole process. So singing in the rain, Andrea's got it. Love that movie. I haven't seen that in a long time. Um, I kind of like to just up front, get a basket, get a little box, get a little tray of some kind and start loading in some things from my stash that I think will work in the book. Now, not everything that I put in my work tray is going to go in the book or on the, on the project or be part of the project. And certainly there will be things that I will go and get or think that I, oh yeah, I remember I have that. I want to, you know, so it's not uh, written in stone, but for me, it's a help because if I start to gather some things from my stash, it's right here. And I don't have to get up and interrupt myself. I like to get a flow started and kind of get my creative juices going for whatever project that I'm working on. So I started that a little bit this morning. And then I thought I'd torture you for a little bit and start going through some of my stash. 
Did our Gail come in? I miss Gail. Good morning, Gail. All right, so I just thought I'd grab out some uh, little narrow envelopes. And I did go and get my coffee mixture from the fridge. Because if I use one of these, I'm going to want to stain those. A little bit of ribbon. I've got uh, what they call, I think, a frog in there. So I thought that might be cute to maybe put somewhere. And some bits that I've decorated in the past with a stencil and some stamping. A peach colored. I wasn't sure what color I had going on in there. So I just grabbed that little peach envelope. And this is just some stuff I started to take apart. Uh, a project that didn't work. Not sure if that'll work. But I just had some of these bits laying on my desk. And I thought color-wise they might work with um, you know, the little, this little book. Now this little napkin I purchased from... the market and let's just have a little look at this little fella oh okay and he's and he adorbs he might work he might work more ribbon this looks like a kit that I had started for something and didn't use it so there's some bits in here I might be able to investigate Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's dump this out. Let's get rid of that crunchy looking bag. Oh, this is the end of an envelope that I uh, was jelly plating envelopes. And when I cut off the end to make the pockets for the, um, I, have a, I have a video. I think it's a video. I did this. I might have done it on a live, but I can, I can use this to make a little, um, decoration for the top of a page so we might do that old timey playing cards a bridge card just some ephemera ephemera now see this had some small stuff in it and what i like to do is any small buttons or clips or things like that that i think i'll use i generally like to put those in some kind of a little cup so that when i'm wanting a paper clip Actually, I haven't located my paper clips yet. I'm not sure where I've, I've hidden those. Any buttons, you know, I might throw my throw some thread in there. So here you see I've got some. Oh, look, a tea bag. Okay, so that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good find in that little envelope. So I've got some old um, pages from an old book. I've got some... Um, Oh, these cool stamps were a gift from Calico Kate. They're yummy. Got a dictionary page. I've got a piece of acetate here because I might make some tinkle tape. I've got a tag that I might like to decorate. So I'm just preparing for whatever I, you know, whatever. Here are some Timmy things or some things that I purchased. Bye, hun. See you later. Have fun. And so I might uh use those these i purchased a while ago and i've kind i kind of have been hoarding these um these are the file folders tim holtz file folders but i'm what i'm thinking is that these are they've got a little bit of uh not a they are they're glossy okay they're just not straight up uh, matte they're glossy and I don't know what I want to do with them yet. But I like the idea of maybe putting something like this on a page as a tip in or tip out. But maybe I'll recreate something like that. So I, I left these out just really to kind of remind me that uh, I, I maybe want to put some uh, something like that in this book. I've got my glue gun plugged in. Uh, because I may need that if I'm going to do a cluster. I've got my whale's tail punch. I may have to go on um, a search for some paper. Now I've got a whole container of this kind of stuff sitting behind me with all these little, I guess they're really for photographs, storage of photographs. 
but I think I want to steal out some reinforcement rings. I'm not sure all what I have in some of these boxes. That looks like all. Now I do have a box like this with Timmy's stuff in it. I think I'm gonna have to pick it up um, and put my ceiling fan on. This is this is life with Ron. I know a couple of us are married to Ron. And maybe we don't have the same issue I have with my Ron. But as soon as there's a little kind of a breeze outside, the air conditioner goes off. He thinks the air conditioner needs a rest. It's a new air conditioner. We do not hear it ever say, oh, please, sir, turn me off. I need a rest. So now he's going out and the whole house is open the humidity starts there's no breeze and Lori is left to sit and wait for her eyelids to get moist because that poor air conditioner needs a rest Oh, hum. They're machines, right? It's 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 a mechanical thing. It's 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 doesn't need a rest. I'm just saying. All right, so there's a little paper doily. Yeah, right. I mean, we just had the whole thing redone. So he could maybe get away with it with the old air conditioner needing the rest. But this baby don't need the rest. It's brand, brand spanking new. Oh, look at these. See, you forget what you have in your stash. Gail says, well, Lori, I don't think any anyone here will mind if you want to take a minute to go close up your head. It's too much, Gail. I don't know. He's got windows open everywhere. we got a little house. But anywho. I'll put my ceiling fan on. Look, aren't they cute? See, you forget what you have in your stash, right? This is why. It's, ooh, look at those. This is why. You know what? I think I'm going to put these in my. I bought these little. Okay. I did. I did a while ago. I wasn't going to, but I'm not going to get into why. But I was trying to fight making a purchase. I have my own reasons. If you want to know why, you can ask me privately. But I was trying not to order stuff from Timu. And um, I did. And I got, really, these are great little books. But see, look, wouldn't these? These will fit in here good. But you forget what you have. So uh, if you've watched any of my lives lately or going back for the replay um, I've been working on flow journals which basically is a working journal that is is a place where you can store uh, items that you like to use in projects so as soon as I get some of those See, I have projects started all over. So at some point, I frustrate myself and I want to uh, get something finished. So as soon as I, I think I'll need those. I don't need that. As soon as I, oh, some of this might, let's see what's in here. Your air conditioner gets a rest every night. I just cannot tolerate the heat. I really and truly cannot. Oh, look, I might need, let me just pull some of those out. I haven't used those in a while. Little Velcro tabs. 
if I want to make um, something a little like a little closure. I have um, I could have magnets in here too. Did I see those? I don't see any of those. These are really great to have if you're ever in um, a sewing department or sewing store. And um, they have a section where they have all their Velcro stuff. And they have different sizes of these, I believe. And they're just little tabs, little circles, not tabs, circles. And they're great for, you know, if you make a little, a little window or a little door or a little pocket and it won't close for you in a journal, you just need a little something, something. They work. Oh, there's my magnets right there. And these little magnets, I used to get them from something gray company. They're darling and they're just so thin. I don't even know if you can see how, how skinny they are. They're wonderful too. Okay, go talk to dad. Give him our love. Kimberly's going with her napkin. She's got the cutest napkin holder at a thrift shop yesterday. Oh, cool. Gosh, I haven't been to a thrift shop in forever and a day. <sighs> All right, so that's the end of that bin. Now, I do have, I think to the right of me in my... Um, file cabinet drawer like um, you know guest checks and, and things like that so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna necessarily pull that stuff out right now let's see what's in here oh there might be a few here Kathy, that's, you know, that's the thing. My husband called, I'm um, freezing. He, he's got like, I think for my husband, a lot of it is mental. You know, his ankles are cold. Okay, go put on a pair of socks, buddy. You know what? I am in like a sleeveless moo all summer, unless we go out somewhere. Because I... I'm just, I run hot. I've always run hot. Our son, when our son was little, the tips of his ears were always um, red. The kid was was hot and all the time. It's always sweaty. He takes after his mama. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, here's a, I did these too. I showed you. Crocheted on a on a paper clip maybe we'll maybe we'll find a place for that so this is just a box of things that i you know just shoved in an envelope i have little charms somewhere these are timmy's i think little charms and these stickers and i keep saying to ron you can put something on i cannot take any more off so he's finally starting to use a little blanket or a throw because he's so cold. You can see we've been married a lot of years. No sympathy here anymore. No sympathy. Uh-uh. Oop one. Sympathy. Oop one. Does that, does that sound horrible? Does that sound harsh? Sorry. It's the truth. I know in the back of my husband's head is, it's, it's you know, it's, all, it's money. It's money. And, and I get that, but I can't help it. Oh, look, oh, look. Some glassine envelopes. Look at this. Won't these be cute to decorate? A little coin envelope. Yeah, da, 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 da. oh, I got these from the market. I don't know who made these. I never can remember that part, but I've got some black and white pictures. And these are now Tim Holtz has this kind of thing too. 
uh, but it's fabric. So someone clever, I don't know, was it you, Mitch? Somebody clever at the market made some tags with threads out of paper. All right. Hey, that was quick. I hope Dad's doing okay. Let's pull her out. All right. That might be good. So I did say I grabbed out some Timmy people. So this will certainly give us a start. Now I've got um, several tubs of fabric bits, you know, that I can grab. Oh, look, here's some, here's something else I bought. Cool little ribbon wrapped around a playing card. Yes, he's doing well. Wonderful. He just likes it. Absolutely. I get that. And that's nice. That's very nice. That's what I do with my neighbor, Betty. All right. Some small pages. Jesus, tuck-ins. It's just we have nothing to talk about anymore because we talk so often. And we both have pretty boring lives for the most part. But it's just to touch base. And... Um, all right, so I'm going to put this basket of goodies to my left here, I think. And I've got some lace and some bits and some cheesecloth. I've got my glues. And so now I want to start working. Okay, so we all comfortable? Any questions? Yeah, I know, right? Like my neighbor's 94. She doesn't go anywhere anymore. She watches TV, and really, until recently, I'm home most of the time, too. And I prefer that. That's that's my choice. <clears throat> Thanks, Kathy. So, you know. All right. So here's the page. I think when I put my journals together, for the most part, when I do my signatures, I like to put a signature in where the first page gives you a pop or attracts you and wants to pull you in so you want to look at the rest of the journal. I didn't do that here. I mean, this is just an okay page to me. I did do some fussy cutting here to let that um, stick out a little bit. I like things to stick out on my journals, out the top, maybe off the side, definitely not down the bottom. Your homebody too, Candy? Yeah, I mean... I'm very content in my life, you know, very happy person and very content, which, you know, that's cool. My younger sister, she's always going. Now, she's got three young grandbabies that she's, you know, allowed to interact with and help care for and such. So, so that's a lot of it for her. But she's always meeting with girlfriends and going out to lunch and I gotta be honest with you for the most part i don't feel like getting dressed i like doing my art you know oh andrew said we've got a lot of august babies in our group hers is the lisa conway is is that lisa conway she's in august And Barbara Clark, and we know Mitzi. I'm an August baby. I know Mary is. Mary's like the 18th or something. Right. Me too, Ray. How about that? I didn't realize Lisa Conway was an August baby. I'll bet you I'm older than all of you. Maybe not, well, maybe Mary and I might be neck and neck. I don't know. I think maybe even Mary is younger than me. Huh. Well, happy birthday to all the August babies. Okay. So now I'm going to think about something that I've got that I pulled out that I can use here. Maybe make, I don't know if I want to make a pocket necessarily. Pages like this, I want to try to leave. <clears throat> I do. Mary's 72. Okay, so Mary's got me by a little bit. I will be 70 this year. 70 in a very, in a very short, <laughs> very short while. 70. I 
I, I just, I can't get, I just can't wrap my brain around 7 oh. So these pages I might want to, you know, leave because I, I want someone to have time or, or places to, to journal and write, right? So this one I might do a little something, something too. This one I can, this one I'm not so crazy about, but it's in there. We're going to, we're going to work it. We're going to work it, work it out. I love these little pages uh, from the um, gosh, all you girls are youngins. Barbara Clark's older. I know she's she's older, but everybody else is the youngin. Okay, I did say hi to Teresa earlier. But welcome, welcome back in, Teresa. Yeah, I don't expect to feel any different. Okay, so Kathleen and I are the same age. Cool beans. All right. So these, uh, this little page is from one of those observers books of, I showed them a couple of weeks ago. They're real cute. I have a I have a cover here. I want to make a journal in one. Uh, these are I like the ones from the UK that have this kind of already grungy looking cover because they're most I mean if you can get them like that they're older. So this might look cute, um, just attached to a page. You know what I haven't found yet? I have them somewhere in a container. Um, my little Timmy baby, um, see if I have one in here, paper clips. Oh, there's one. I love these little baby paper clips. Aren't they darling? I try to keep an eye on, um, there's another. I try to keep an eye on. Joanne Fabrics, because a lot of times they'll have Timmy's stuff on sale and you can get a little package of those for really just a couple of couple of bucks instead of paying uh, full, full price. Look at this little charm. I didn't pull that in. Hey, Mina, good morning. What day in August? Wouldn't you like to know Kimberly? It's in the beginning part of August. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, look, see, that's cute. I think some of these, if you buy from the market, Keisha always, oh, there's a couple more. Keisha always includes a nice little thank you. And she does usually a bulb pin with a little, um, my parents were born in November, Teresa. Yep. And they didn't waste any time. Um, so they're cute to add add on. We can add those onto a page. They'll be cute. So sometimes, oh look, I've got some beads there. Sometimes just adding something you like to a page is enough. And when you start working your pages and adding things to your pages in your journal just because I did that doesn't mean I'm done I can add something else to that now here I'm thinking I might like to put some kind of a little stamp or a cluster Yeah, I'm not crazy about that page at all. I just don't know why I chose to put that in there. Actually, I wonder if a piece of this. Okay, Teresa. 
Teresa's going to be right back. Now, if you're not familiar with washi tape, washi tape is not, hey, there's Leah. Hi, Leah. Good morning. Is not meant to be permanent. You can put it down, peel it up, move it around, you know, all, kind, all kinds of stuff like that. Which is good and bad, uh, if I'm not being honest, at least for, for myself. Uh, because sometimes you really like the design of washi tape that you found, but perhaps you're not you want it to be permanent you don't want it to necessarily um come off so you, you've got to keep that in mind all right so what if i create a little vignette on this page and kind of redo this page i think this might be some timmy paper and this may be from a christmas pack but you know what it probably isn't i do have some um vintage tim Tim Holtz stuff like that. But I don't, I don't remember where I've stashed it, you see? All right, so I think I'm going to deckle my edge. How do you like that term? If you're unfamiliar, it just means, I think, torn. So I'm going to tear. This is a ruler. Kathy Berg enabled me to purchase. The guy is on Etsy. It's metal. It's got the cork on the back, so there's no, you know, it doesn't slip as easily when you're trying to tear. It's got your straight edge. It's got your deckled edge. So I'm going to tear that. You know what? I should do it over this way because I do like to not have the white. So I can make it a little smaller yet. Let's do this. So I don't mind if some of that is going to show. And then I'm going to get out my vintage photo. I like to ink my edges. So I'm just going to get one of my little blending tools. I am fortunate in that I overtook our four season room and converted this into my art space and sometimes hubs will you know he doesn't really throw a little hissy fit but you know he acts like he's not happy about it and, you know he did he wasn't sitting he wasn't sitting out here anyway he really wasn't so I don't let it wreck my I don't let it wreck my day. So I'm gonna ink some of this. Now if I'm I know I just really kind of started and I'm usually on for a couple of hours on Thursday, but I don't like to overlap anyone. But I think my life's been a little bit of a blur lately, but I think someone mentioned not too terribly long ago that Kathy Arbor changed her um, her schedule a little bit, maybe on Thursdays. Does she come one later? Does anybody? I looked at her channel last night to see if she had hours posted, but I didn't really see it. I didn't see it. So if anybody knows... I would appreciate knowing that. And I don't know if anyone, if she did do that, if anyone has popped on in her spot. I haven't really spent much time um, at my desk today. I feel like I can maybe get some stuff accomplished. And I really feel like working on this. Let's, let's bring Elvis down. Yes, Kathy is on at 6 p.m. Eastern now on Thursdays. Thank you, Kimberly. I couldn't remember the time, but I thought someone had said she was coming on later. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if I can find. This might be cute. All right. So, I just saw somewhere. 
I'm going to stamp a little bit of an image on this, you know, really basically scrapbook paper. Oh, that's right, Lisa and Tanya. Yeah, yeah. Probably around two or three or something. Okay, Kathy's going to be back. This I purchased and I don't know where. It's got all different kinds of, I guess I was thinking it would come uh, separate, like the little, little images would be separate. But it, this might look cute. Let's just see. This is really thin. A thin little stamp. I'm not sure how well that's going to stamp, but let's just see. Yeah, and they're you're right. I like them too. Jen Jen says she likes the old black and white photos. They're very interesting. They are, and they add um, just a little vintage touch to. Oh, look how nicely that stamped. Okay, so I'm going to go for the second. I'm not going to re-ink. I'm not re-inking here. Just I just want to faint little something something on this so that'll do me that'll do me yeah look how thin that is i don't remember where i got this but i liked it because it had like a little a little frenchy look to it flora that's probably not french that's probably italian or something so um, the stamps and things that I use on a regular basis, I've got a little wheelie uh, drawer unit that sits right under my desk here. Now this is just, you know, I'm just pulling out stamps that I use all the time. And... Um, just trying to create a little interest. So even if you put something in a signature that you're not crazy about, you can rework it. You can definitely rework it. If I wanted to, I could get a piece of paper, or a piece of cloth or whatever, a napkin, and just, you know, go right over top of what I have here. So what I'm thinking is perhaps putting that, leaving kind of a little bit of an outline and then just maybe putting on a piece of this washi is what I'm thinking. So now I'm gonna glue this down. Now, if I were smart, look at this. If I did this, I could leave this open and really use that as a tuck spot. Let's do that. So I'm only going to glue on three edges. Now, you don't necessarily want everything to be a pocket or a tuck spot. But... I don't necessarily, I don't have to use it at a tuck spot, but if I glue it that way now, I have the option, right? And so now I bought, purchased these little containers that have a little rubbery top. It, it seals pretty good. I've got a little bit of matte medium in there. Because see, I want to brush this and get some glue down because I want to put that washi tape down and I don't want it to go anywhere. So let's just say. I really could wrap that around. I'm just going to tear this. So I need a pretty big chunk. So 
I need a pretty big space. And I'm going to put that right on top of. And I just thought, oh, Lori, you're going to glue your pages together. Now, certainly, if you're planning a journal and you're planning your pages, you can do all this before you do your signatures, you know. But I don't always think ahead like that. And that's okay. It's all right. The way I work, sometimes I just sit with book pages, tear books apart or whatever I'm doing, and fold and throw signatures together. So I don't always know where I'm going to wind up or what I want. But see that to me that looks better already for this. I'm going to cap that back up. Now this I kind of like the way it is. This is another good page to journal and we're back to this with the stitching and I've got really long threads to pocket or not to pocket that is the question that's cool there now remember too if you're going to stamp and you don't want it to smear or you're not sure if you're going to come back and work with any kind of a wet kind of a medium you want to also consider what what ink product you're using so if you want it to stay on you might want to use stays on good morning dawn are we still yes we're still morning Woohoo! Woo -hoo. all right let's grab a little bit of cheese cloth. Look, I've got a Christmas tree stuck in my cheese cloth. Let's see. Let's what if we put a little bit of cheese cloth down? And I'm just seeing So maybe first of all, now this is um this is from that uh, flora little flora book that I have, and this is not going down real well. It's kind of making see little smudge marks, which I'm not too crazy about that. But I'm going to cover that up. These pages um, have a little gloss to them, not a high gloss which you're probably able to tell. It's a little, I just want to knock back some of that white. So I'm going to add a little bit of cheesecloth like this. And then I've got this little strip of Just add a little interest to that page. Now, whoever uses this, you know, they can journal right on top of that flower. So maybe I'll take a little bit of my gesso. Grab a brush. I'm going to dampen my brush and just some clean, clear, clean, cool, clear water. Just painting a little gesso over that just to try to just to knock that back just a tad. Give it a little more interest. 
and then hopefully encourage the user to add to the page. So now I'm going to use my heat tool. Now I have a hard time uh, getting um, heat cloth to stay where I want it unless I use either hot glue or my um, fabric tack. And I think I want that to stay where I'm putting it. So I want to take a little, and I don't want the hot glue here because I don't, hot glue, uh, you can't really spread that so much or quickly and it could be lumpy, you know, I, I don't, I don't want any, I don't want any of that nonsense. So I'm going to use a little bit of my Fabri-Tac. Uh, this is a beacon glue. They have several different this one's not actually called fabric tack, but it, it all seems to be basically the same to me. Mine's called magnet tack. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on here and I'm going to take a silicone spreader and just smoosh it around. The other thing I like about this type of glue is that it does very well for me anyway, uh, adhering fabric in a pretty quick manner. And uh, it, it, I don't think it, I don't know that it dry dries real quickly, but I haven't had a problem. But then I can get my fabric to stay where I want it to stay for the most part. So I'm just going to stretch that out. Okay, Kath has a bagel and hot tea. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so let's just hit that a little bit with the gun. So now my thought is to put a piece of this here and I'm not going to attach this down solid because I may want to come back and do something like add um, some bulb pins with some things attached or I might add some buttons or a little supply of whatever and then this is loose and I can pick it up and do whatever just gives me a little more options as far as use going forward so I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach it to the top I don't want the bumps of the staple on this side I want the bumps on this side because I'm going to add a little something there. Now I'm trying to stay relatively flat to not create too much extra bulk. And uh, I need to cover that little staple. So let's see what we have here. I know I had a piece a little tiny flat I had a little tiny piece of uh, oh, there we go this little flat metal that might look cute up there and of course there's not much bulk to that and so maybe I'll take another little piece of cheesecloth
just put underneath. I could use a piece of fabric too. I didn't think about that. Just kind of building a little cluster right under there. So let's see what do I have here close by. I'm digging in some of my. Now, of course, I have tons of scraps. So I'm trying, I'm looking for something scrappish that kind of is the same color wavel. Now these, this is just fabric that had strawberry design on it that I coffee stained. And I don't have to use the top. I don't have to use the strawberry part. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now that, you know, it's not in your face. It's very subtle, but I like, I like that. So I'm going to use my hot glue, put down my extra little bit of cheesecloth. Now, let's see. I'm thinking maybe what I should do is take a little bit of this pink twine. I pulled some of this apart yesterday. I found, you know how we were doing and uh, painting on, um, you know how you get the catalogs in the mail? And I ripped those pages all apart. We made pages for little journals i put a cover on some of those pages i think it turned out cute it was um i'd taken a piece of paper bag i believe and sewed fabric on To make like a uh, patchwork kind of a look. All right, so I'm just taking one strand of that pink twine. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to put that through the center of my little middle piece and just loop it. I'm just looping it, girls. Looping. I'm just pulling that tight in between the little petals of that one flower. Is that clearing up for you or not? Probably not. So that can dangle, right? Like that. Now let's see. I did get some buttons out, but maybe I need... a couple choices here this is i love this button that's a heart i kind of think i want the green mm. see the heart has a little bit of a shank on the back so that's going to add some bulk and i'm not sure that i can snap that off easily it's not it doesn't stick up very much Let's see, I've got my I've got a drawer of buttons right here. Let's just see if I can. I like that gold color, that amber kind of a color on that page. Let's see if I can grab anything that and nothing too big. Uh, reds and uh, not liking that so much. I kind of like the green, although I am a green person. 
So, well, I know I'm not green like an alien, but I like I like green. I like green real well. All right, so I'm just going to see if I can. Get these little threads through. The buttonhole. Now, generally, I have to do this a couple of times because inevitably I put the thread through the wrong way and I end up with it backwards. All right, now I can lengthen that or shorten it as much as I want. I'm just going to leave those little strings go. I'm going to add a little hot glue. Pop that down and there we go. See now this is free and I can come back in at some point like say I'll just take this one. I've got a little bulb pin with a couple of little white beads on it and I'm just going to put that through one of these little flurs okay so that was that was easy this I'm going to glue as a pocket and I'm going to take a little snippet out of here. Just use a round punch. And at some point, I'll find whatever. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh oh, I didn't put my pin back in here. Let's see. I hate when I do that. Hi, Angie Brown. Okay, let's see. What did I do with my stopper? I had a stopper pin. Let's grab another. That's too big. I hate when my little, I love my needle nose glueys, glue dispensers, but it sure is annoying when that nozzle gets clogged now certainly i can leave this i wasn't crazy about uh, this rubbing this on i wonder if i used the oxide rather than the ink if that would make a difference as far as it going on this is, this is gathered twig let's see I'm always kind of stumped at what to do with the Velcro type pages. Does anybody have any ideas? I sure don't. Now I saw this in my stash. This, I don't know where I got this, but isn't it cute? I think it's, um, yeah, Mary Engelbright, right? Isn't that her name, Mary Engelbright? Did I say Velcro? Did I misspeak? I probably misspoke. And now I don't remember even what I said. Sorry, Gail. 
but it's got a little saying on here. It's important to use all knowledge ethically, humanely, and lovingly. Angle bright, bright. I'm going to pop that card in there and then maybe I'll add some more. I just wanted to knock back that and I think I would like to stamp a little something, something on there. Let's see what I have. It's like a little definition type of stamp. And over here I have. Okay, time for a nap before the boys get back from school. Okay, Ange, thanks for popping in. I don't want my purple. I'm looking for my ganache. I used to have it here, but I didn't see it there. I want my stays on. But this is a slicker surface. I don't want it to smear. And I want something that's going to dry. There it is. Let's see. Let's load this up. And I sometimes I feel like it gets cumbersome to, to to stamp and see how your stamp works. But every time I don't do it, I'm not happy with the result. So I'm just trying to just really get in the habit of stamping off on another paper. Now this I didn't want it real dark so I stamped off on another piece of fabric uh, paper and that just adds a little something else to it as well. that little pocket and I know I put in some stamps that uh, I mentioned that Calico Kate gifted me so maybe a little stamp oh yeah I want to I want to address that there's a little label it's kind of cute Let's pull that out. See, this, the other part of, um, it's nice to have everything here ready to go. Okay, thanks for popping in, Mina. I appreciate it. Have a great day. As you can kind of just add a couple of little things. Just, just to add a little something, something in a little space. And they recommend any of this older stuff. Don't be licking it. Use, use glue. Now you can continue to add and fuss as much as you want, right? At this guy. Thinking about maybe adding a second one here. Yeah, maybe the one. You know, you know the old adage, the old rule. Use an odd number. That generally 
for me. I really do end up liking the way it looks with the odd numbered rule, if you will. Thanks, Jen. So we've got that little card tucked in there and I might find other things to tuck. You know what I was thinking? Maybe let's tuck in also. I had that one playing card that was vintagey looking. Let's pop that in there as well. This. Now, I also leave these strings when I tie my signatures. Sometimes I leave them really long, other times not so much. But it's kind of fun to maybe tie a charm on. So I've got my little heart charm here. And this can be a little fiddly. I didn't leave this too terribly long on this one. Can't talk and tie. Okay. All right. Now you can add a little glue to that knot. And but of course, then you, you need to put something under that and let that dry for a little while. So I'm not going to glue that right now. But so well, that's another another page done. And then I've got a little fold out thing here. This might be a good place to um, add a tag or a file folder kind of a look. There's the other half of that page I didn't like. Hmm. Back here on one of the pages, I had that crazy fold. Where is that? That's kind of pressing on my mind a little bit. Right here. Hmm, I got glue. Oh, yeah, I should have said fiddly. Fiddly. I could put a little piece of um, fabric on one side, but what if I. That might be cool there, huh? What do you think? What do you think? What do you say? What do you talk? What do you talk? All right. So I could glue that. If I fold this here. So I know where to tear. Let's tear this off. This is kind of a rabbit trail. I'm going to use my coffee. Elixir. My coffee Alexa. After my husband goes to bed in the evening, he always retires earlier than me. Of course, when he was working, he retired real early because he was up real early. So now it's a little bit of a bummer because then I don't get to watch. Well, that's not true. I could say to him, I would like to watch this, and he would he would certainly be fine with that. I you know. I'm married to a great guy. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> He's not an ogre. Okay. Now, this is probably really pretty dark. But that's okay. I'm going to try to not um, wet the surface too terribly much because I want it to dry. 
this looks like a wisp or a feather brush. Oh, I don't know if I want to mess with that. Let's get out. Let's get out one of um, Jane's brushes. So I'm going to put a little water in it first. Anyhow, you have two TVs and our own PC. So you can, yeah, we and we do that too. We use the earbuds and stuff like that. But um, I usually watch the ball game. So this time of year, I, I pretty much have rain of the TV when the ball game's on. So I just use some instant coffee that I mix with hot water. I keep it in the fridge. So that when I have a small job to do like this, I can do it. And um, But he likes to watch a lot of the Hallmark movies. And some of them are just, you know, some of them are okay for me. And other ones are like excruciating. But I'm usually, you know, crocheting or coloring or drawing. You know, I'm not sitting and like just staring at the TV. Because I, I just don't like to do that. <clears throat> now this is going to take a little bit to dry, but we're gonna we're gonna just take the time and do it, okay? So I've just painted that on to get <clears throat> rid of that white white, and you can do a stack of these ahead of time. <clears throat> Excuse me, Calico Kate. That's what she does. She does like a whole stack of whatever you know she's doing a whole pile of waxed seals she does them she keeps them in a little box or an envelope and then when she needs them she can just pull them out <clears throat> so if you're going to be doing any paper dyeing or envelope dyeing like this it would really in most cases behoove you to do four or five and then when you want <clears throat> you can pull out what you need for a particular project instead of doing it the way I am stopping and having to, to pull everything out to do that. Anyway, I've been watching after Hubby Goes to Bed, Midsummer Murder. Oh my gosh. I'm addicted. Some of them, I gotta tell you, are a little scary to watch by yourself late at night. Now, see, I picked up something here, which I don't know what that is. It's kind of like a pinkish, pinkish color. Now, if you haven't ever done your own coffee or tea staining of paper, I love it. The texture of your paper kind of changes. It gets kind of crunchy. And I just, I find it very rewarding. Now, this is a very thin envelope, so really, this isn't going to take too long to dry. But I just want to show that. And you can splatter some of the coffee on, let it uh, be a little thicker in some spots. You certainly can put more coffee in and less water and make more of a, a lick stuff. I have what I need to make some tinkle tape. I put a piece of acetate in my work basket here. Let's see if I can pull it out easily. Now it's clear, so where did it go? Here it is on top of my tag. So if you want to use tape that looks like it's been around hundred of years and you like that look, this is what you do. And 
You want some cellophane tape. You know, like scotch tape, old timey scotch tape. Where the heck did my old timey scotch tape go? You do, Leah? Oh my gosh. I decided to start at the very beginning. So I've gone back. I'll bet you this is this is stumble. No, I think this is this is good. This will work. And I like Tom Barnaby. He's the main character, I guess, when it first started. I mean, it was like 20 or 8, 29 seasons. So I went back and I started from the beginning. So now I'm on season 7. Oh, Marty, you like them too? All right, so this is just cellophane scotch tape. And if you have a piece of, um, let's see, let's do it. Let's do it on top of this. Maybe you can see what I'm doing a little better. Man, nah, maybe not. How about black? I can see maybe a little. All I'm doing is I'm, I'm taping down strips of clear cellophane tape. And Johnny from uh, boop, boop, boop. most of us here today. Oh my gosh, I'm taping my fingers together. Johnny from the junk journal shop was kind enough to show me how to make this quite some time ago in one of her lives. Okay, I gotta put my fan on. And on, off. I won't make a horrible noise. There's Dana. Hi Dana. So I like to make a bunch, like I was saying before, with, um, oh, well, I just messed that up. I got it too long. So that when you want a piece, you can just grab and go. You can make them all different sizes. Now, in all likelihood, when I peel some of this off, it is not going to come off in one piece. I'm okay with that because I like the way that looks. Hey, boo-boo. And then you want to get yourself some alcohol ink. And uh, you can make this in any, in any color. Make it in something that uh, you like, you know. You may not like the uh, brownish, yellowy colors. Latte. Latte is my fave, so I'm just going to go with that. I got a little kit that's got a couple of different um, colors in it. And I just take a cotton swab, and you just want to squirt some of this on. Now, the cotton swab kind of does drink up the alcohol ink. That's probably not the best way to go. Let's see. Do I have another... I mean, I do. I just um, trying to grab like an old brush that is not going. I wonder how the brush. I forget now if I haven't made any in a while. So all you do is you glue your tape, stick your tape down on a surface. It doesn't have to be acetate, but on something where you can peel it up easily. And I'm just going to squirt my alcohol ink on my tape. And then I'm just going to smush it around. And then I'm going to add a little bit more because I want it to be a little darker and I want to get some different staining happening on my tape. And you can use the alcohol. I mean, you can use a Q-tip, but see, a lot of your product then sucks up into the... And a little goes a long way. But then you need to let this dry. And 
Now again, you may, it may keep its stickiness depending on the surface that you uh, decide to put your tape on. But you can just add glue to it as well. You know, that works too. Let's see, I've got a real puddle going here and I don't want to waste that. So I'm going to scoop that off and put it on another piece. And just the littlest piece, you don't want to cluster over the edge of a page. It really looks, I think, quite darling. Or as Kathy Cow would say, isn't that the cat's meow? Now, if you put your heat gun to this, you also want to be careful because you don't want to melt your plastic or your acetate. You know, our heat guns can get a little warm. So I'm going to put that up on my keyboard of my laptop. And that might help to dry that a little bit. Okay, so now my my uh, envelope is pretty, pretty dry. Still a little damp there. So let's hit this again. Hit it with the heat gun. Well, I've got a few fun days ahead of me and a uh, not so fun day ahead of me. I'm going to try not to be emotional, but I just want to tell everybody. Our daughter and her family are coming, I think. Well, first of all, our son and his gal and her three boys, I think, are coming on Saturday to swim and spend the day with us. We have not met her children, so I'm looking forward to that. So that will be fun. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way. And um, then our daughter and her family are coming sometime on Monday. And they're going to stay over, enjoy the pool. Now, see, I've got a little bit there that's not going to be covered. That, that bothers Lori. So let's do this. And then they'll stay Tuesday probably through dinner which will be a nice little visit. Then they're heading out on some vacation, so we won't see them for a little, a little bit. And then we've made the hard decision to put our little Bella down. So that's going to happen Wednesday. She's really, she's not in pain or anything, but she has no quality of life. She's, almost totally blind and ah, she's having a hard time getting up and down back legs aren't working she's been walking at least for six months or more holding her one little leg up and um, it's past time and I don't want what happened with our little loose to happen with Bella I don't think I can I don't want to go through that again. Bella died. In my, I mean, uh, Lucy died in my arms and that was really tough. So. Yeah. Well, I didn't cut that especially straight. I really don't need this much now that I think about it. I just need enough down there to cover that one spot. So how about we don't? Yeah, it's tough. They bring you a lot of joy. But, you know, this is in all likelihood, this is what happens. And um, You know. Life is mostly good. 
We'll focus on that. And hubby says no more puppies. So that's sad for me as well. Okay. All right. So now I want to get some glue on here. So I can have this. Yeah, yeah, true. So true. Now we, I do have um, honey, which belongs to our son's girlfriend. She's a, she's a cute, lovely little pooch, little poochooch. So I have a. I still will be able to interact with a puppy. She's only four, I think. Oh, she seems like a long-haired chihuahua. She's a chihuahua, but I know, right? But he says we can't travel or it takes away my air conditioning and doesn't want any more dogs. Yeah. He says, yeah, because we can't travel or do anything. Well, yeah, that's true, um, especially when they're ailing and you need someone that can care for them. And But, you know, if you get a puppy... I can find somebody to babysit a puppy. But they are a lot of work. And he does most of it. Let's face it. Okay. So that looks okay. Now maybe a piece of ribbon or something down there. So this can flip. See, now I have another surface that I can work with. And... Um, See, as you get going, you get different ideas. You can just see what might and might not work. Now, see this. If I put this on here, what do you what do you think? Do you like this idea? It's one of those little book pages from one of the observers of you know British flowers, buildings, wildlife. They have they have all kinds. So if I put this here. I didn't say my birthday was Monday. My birthday isn't Monday. Who are trying to trick me, Kimberly. She is coming for a birthday celebration, but she will not be here on my birthday. She will be on vacation. Ha, <laughs> you little stinker. What if I glued the edges here? Glued this on, glued the bottom. It could be a pocket. Ooh. See, this all takes time, but it's worth it because you end up with some really cool results. You're trying. <laughs> okay, next clue. I'm going to make a little dibbit. Well, now, uh oh, where'd you go? I just hit my mouse. There you are. Okay. It was a good try. Good try. All right, let's ink this up a little bit. Now, some of the pages in these little books, some of them are a little slicker than others. This one happens to be have a little bit of a, of a gloss to it. How am I on time? Okay. So we'll just do this. And then maybe we'll think about a tag or something that we can do to put in this. I want to keep forgetting about that little crocheted paper clip thingy. I think I put my, well, I guess it doesn't matter. 
they're going to put my divot on the wrong side. Now, I also could build a pocket here. Could I not? No, of course I could. That might look clever. Hmm. I don't want to get out the... I mean, it's right underneath my desk, but sometimes it's getting... Actually, I don't even know what day of the week my birthday is. I didn't, I haven't looked. I haven't looked. Oh, it sounds like Hubby's home already. Well, he wasn't going too long. All right, so you can see that I copy stained this prior. Again, when we talk about making things for your stash or getting a supply of things together, index cards are another really good thing to have. Hey, Susan Gerald. Good morning. Now I could also stamp on this. Make some kind of a little, little cutesy thing going on here. Let's just see what I have. That might work. I love these little little flowers. I really abuse this stamp. I think I have to soak it, and I think I've got paint stuck in there. Oh, you're eating breakfast? Too oh, nice. I'm a two number. I'm a two number birthday day. All right, so let's put this on. I was messing around with my um, little ink pen. <laughs> Gail knows, Gail knows where to look. She says, na 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 poo poo. <laughs> let's see. Let's put a little strip of something. Let's put a little strip of something, something on this. I just don't like to... I just don't like to say things about myself. So that's all this. I'm not trying to be difficult. It's just. I've known a few people over my years. My many, many years. It's like, you know, a month before their birthday, it's like, oh my gosh, give it a rest, buddy. You know, you know what I'm saying, you know. All right, let's put a little piece of this down. Okay, so we've got those little buildings there on that side. So we need, I think we need a little something else in here. Let's go back to our little work. Now I'm not quite sure how this might look. These are, these are kind of see-throughy. A little bird. Hmm. What other ones did I pull out here? Oh, these are a little subtle. Who's leaving? On that note, 
Gail says she really needs to get up and go shower. Okay, and get on with her day. All right. Thanks, Gail. Have a good one. I kind of like that number down there. Let's put that, let's put that one on. Now, if I do that, I also can do, where did I put hubby's back? He's making the noises now. We're, now we're going to get the noises. Oh, that looks kind of cute too, right? See, if I put that on that way, I can, I, I can make another little pocket there. What if I put... Okay, if this gets messed up, I can always use the other side, right? But what if I inked on here? You know, if I made just little, what if I just did this? This is a Sharpie pen, not a marker. This is like a... Schroeder kind of dust bubbles around. And I was going to use this one. Oh, yeah, a little bug would be cute. I do have bugs. I just saw them. I got Timmy bugs. I probably should have added glue to this. Now I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. A little snippety snippety here. Now I want to make sure I do across the bottom. Could do like a belly band. Oh, you did, Susan? I haven't been to our pool much this year. I just, um, well, quite honestly, I've been out of sorts. I have been out of sorts. That's a way to say it. And I haven't gone much, but usually I see one at the pool. But I haven't been. I haven't been. Okay, now you want to make sure you use a liquid glue that's going to dry if you're going to use anything to be a pocket for the most part because you want that to dry really well so what you stick in it doesn't. Now, I do have a die cut <clears throat> that makes all different size little tags. So a little tag or, oh, you know what? I just thought of what I pulled out. A little tea bag with the string hanging might be cute. Okay, so let's take... A little bit of glue. I'm going to pop that down like that. And let's see. I pulled out a... Oh, I was thinking that might be nice on the other side of that. Or maybe the doily. Let's just see. Come on, you little stinker. I know you're in here somewhere. Oh. oh, that would be cute in one of the pockets. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Loop -de -loop. 
Hi, Artie Dar. Little tea bag. A green tea bag. And let's just let the string do its let's let the string do its thing. Yes, now I know if Angie were here, she would say, but you're covering up. Yep, yep, yep. I am. So I'm going to ink these edges. Now I do have a stamp that has lines because, of course, the back of this little faux vintage card could be used for journaling. So let's get uh, let's get this ganache for that. It's a little darker. And for me, my lines, it doesn't have to be perfect. They can be a little cattywankas. You don't have to do all this jazz, right? So I'll let that dry a second. And then... Where do I have my, I just, I keep sabotaging myself because I keep moving things and saying to myself, more, this would be better over here, wouldn't it? And then Lori can't remember where she put it. Oh, um, I've got a, a, a metal tin that has like, all my little tiny stampy stamps in it like little bugs and little um, flowers and cute little things like that okay i found a little bumblebee here this will certainly do Let's put a little bumblebee on here. Well, if you want to see the flower, you can look at the tag and get it. Yeah, yeah, right. You just lift it out. I'm just going to add a bug there. And of course, ink these edges. Now, you could put a string on this. You could put some fabric. You, you know, you can just, uh, it's never ending, really. Okay? It's just never ending. So, we've got that. Let's get our book back. Hmm, this might be tricky. Maybe I'll do one side at a time. You know what? Maybe I'll get my tape runner. No, well, meh, 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 meh. I better do the I better do the liquid glue. I'm getting better at it, Candy, but I know that has been a dilemma for me for a lot of years and then I find myself trying to ink them while they're in my project which doesn't always doesn't always work so good that I'm human today <laughs> I'm human most days. Oh, look, I just ripped out my tea bag. I ripped my tea bag. All right, let's ink the bottom of this. The rest of that seems to be covered fairly well. Now, tricky part. Let's glue the bottom. And then let's put some glue on this other part of the 
And I, you know what, girls? I don't know what I did here, but I think it was the signature of the page I tore out of this um, foliage book was um, not in good shape. And I wanted to use the page. So I think I folded it, made that tab with the idea of putting something on it. So it kind of worked out. It worked out okay, right? So I can put some other kind of little flower doodad down there. A little doodad. I could put a button. I could use this as a, ooh, I could punch a, oh, I could punch a hole in that and put a dangly. That might be a little fiddly, but I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I've got my hole puncher right here. My crocodile, whatever it's, this probably isn't a crocodile. It's this, uh, we are memory keepers. We are memory keepers thing. Should have done this. See, you don't always think of it. You get different ideas. Pop, pop in a hole. I got really close to the edge. I should have looked at that a little better. We are Santa's elves. I don't know why I have this song in my head. It's been for it's been for uh, at least a week now. All right, let's put my tea bag back in. Now that I've punched a hole there, let's find a. And I'm going to show you my next. This little tip I got from Susie Hines, who is a Tim Holtz maker, and I just love it. And you've probably seen me do this before. That's why I pulled out this page of reinforcement rings. We are Santa's elves. We are Santa's elves. That's the only part I'm remembering. Do, 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 do. We talked about this on another, I think it was my last stream. I don't know. Barbara knew all the, all the words. This I got to do next. This is driving me. This is driving me. I feel like people stop talking when I come in. Is it true? It's not true. It's just you. It's just you imagine. It's just your imagination. Now people go get something to eat or they're working on their, their own things. It's just a, co a coincidence. It's just a little coincidence. Okay, so you take a little page, or you might have just a strip of these little reinforcement rings. You get some ink on your blender and just ink these babies. And then take some kind of a stamp. It could be a flower stamp. It could be script. Of course, I like the script. Running away with me. Oh, it's just imagination running away with me. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can find, I don't see it here in the drawer. What do I do with it? If I ever go in this drawer and find it immediately, it would be a crafting knitter. Oh, I didn't know I had that stuff down there. That's cool. That's not. Oh, look at all those little. 
honestly. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm all over the map. I'm all over the map with some of this stuff. Now I haven't really been stamping. What the heck did I do with my? I can use anything. Oh, did you ever get just such a? Okay, talk about being real. This is kind of gross. I probably shouldn't say this. Oh, don't get banned for singing. Oh, for goodness sakes, Kimberly, it's August 10th. Don't make yourself crazy. I'm the first double digit of the month, August 10th. I'm just going to use this little script stamp because I have it here. And so then what you do is you take your stamp and you just stamp over top of these little reinforcement ringy dingies. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingies. Like I said, you can do anything on your calendar. Big 7-0 this year. I want it off my calendar. Okay, and then what you do is you just peel these little wonderful things. And you stick them to each other. Now, I didn't get that on so good. It's, it's not, it's not um, totally on correct. And then you make a stack of them. And then you put them on a pin. Got my little pin. So let's make a couple more. Of course, this is a lot easier if you're not wearing fake nails. And you're not being watched by a lot of people. Now, you may not think this is so great, but I just, when I saw Susie Hines do this in one of her little journals, she's, a, did I say this? She's a Tim Holtz maker. She's a clever, clever gal. You wouldn't expect anything else, right? So then you take several of these. I'm not going to sit here and do them all. I'll do more later. And then you take them. You could put them on a thread. You don't have to have these pins. You can put them on whatever you like. And then you just dangle them like you would dangle a bead or a charm. I don't know. I like it. Okay. What? What? Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, he's afraid for you to hear his voice, I think. He's always whispering stuff to me. And I'm not talking sweet nothings. Okay. Every time's oh, oh, with the... Uh, I'm not sure I'm following Susan, but... All right, so I pop that little hole down there and that little leftover portion of, and I'm going to put my pin, hopefully, through there. If I can grab it properly. Push that down, and now I've got a little, little dangle coming off the bottom of that that page. I keep forgetting to put my pin in here. By the shins. Simple song. 
that sounds familiar. I bet you I bet you I will recognize it. Well, it's true. He's the crazy boy. He's the crazy boy. Okay, he came in here to whisper to me that he's going to close his eyes. Okay, I'm freaking streaming. All right. So he could close his eyes. I don't need to know that right now. And then he had to let me know that the Phillies are coming on at noon, which I did know, but I forgot. Okay, so. All right, so that turned out fairly well. Now let's get back to this. I don't remember how I did these, but I know I have. I don't know that I have. It might be a video. But I crochet. I figured out. I didn't figure it out. Don't, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't figure it out. I found a, a pattern that told me how to crochet these little hearts. So I did that. And then I, I crocheted it and looped it around on, as you see, a paper clip. Now, has anybody ever inked a paper clip? I'm just wondering. Just curious. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to pee me pants. This is how I get with my sisters and they beg me. I was sending my sister Nancy. My sister Nancy really cracks up with anything that has to do with passing gas. Okay. I'm just saying she does. Now, I tightened that up. It's a little better. But I was going to put a piece of um, a little bit of hot glue. But right now, that's holding pretty good. So let's clip this to a page. Let's clip it to an Edith page for right now. And then maybe we'll we'll find um Candy, you got a scoop. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for joining us. That's probably not too clear. So I'm sending her all these reels from Instagram about people passing gas. Oh my gosh. She's messaging me saying, you got to stop. My stomach's hurting. Okay. So now we did the tinkle taped also. So what does it do here? I just don't know. Okay. Let's find a page for some tinkle tape. I have to do something with that. See, this reminds me of. See, this is how warped I am. Steve, Steve Martin, when he does that, um, you know, that Egyptian thing. So funny. So very funny. All right, I was going to put these somewhere. Five older brothers. Oh, my Lord. I cannot even imagine. Of course, I have no brothers, which is kind of a bummer. I just want to put this on, too. Well, that can be a, that can be a pocket. You sometimes just don't know, right? You just don't know what you might want to do. Let's get some of these black and whites out here. Let's see what we have. I don't know who sent me this. Somebody sent me this in a happy mail. I'm pretty sure. Ken Supermarket. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's stick this in a... You know, a long time ago, a <clears throat> long, long time ago... I should have <clears throat> stuff here. I go with the <clears throat> frog in the throat. I uh, can't really see that there. Um, I should have started keeping track of who sends me what, but and I don't get a whole lot of stuff, and that's fine. I don't need King Tut. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Susan. You got it. King Tut. Um. I got a ton of stuff. You know what? To be honest, I don't need any. I don't need anything. But people like Dee Dee and Murray that get, you know, what I would say a lot of Happy Mail stuff. How in the world do they keep track of who gives them what? I 
just I just can't even imagine. I can't keep track. And it's not that you're not, I'm not grateful. I'm very grateful. It's just that I don't have any more room in my brain. Now that, if that flips out. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> there were there was one reel i don't think i sent this one to my sisters but they were so it was an older an older gentleman he looked he looked like maybe he was 65 68 somewhere around there and then a younger fellow this is a reel on um instagram and the old guy, he cracks one in the in in the car, and the younger fella, he's the he's about dying, and then they decide, you know, maybe they should have a contest. Oh my gosh, they they were hysterical. Speaking of which, look, this guy's got a gas mask on. What 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 what? Maybe we'll put a pocket there. Let's glue this one down. Uh, I put I put a too big of a pin in there. I've lost all control of my pen. Now this might be a good little pocket to add a couple extra little stamps. Hopefully I can get hopefully I can get that unwound. Yeah, see, I don't have, per se, a Happy Mail journal. Because some of the stuff, okay, some of the Happy Mail you get is something that's like a little finished bit that you could put in a journal. But a lot of it is stuff to use, right? So. Well, does anybody in the room here uh, watch America's Got Talent, AGT? There was a guy on this season whose talent was he tooted through a straw and, and did different things. Blew a balloon, threw a, he did a dart. It took him a little bit. Um, Simon Cow went up on stage and helped him work it out because he was off just a little bit with the straw. Okay. Yeah, if you Google that. It'll come up for sure. Crazy stuff. They put them through to the next round. Your mother hated it. <laughs> Which probably egged your brother on, right? Well, let's get mom going. Well, I got to tell you, I can be, if you... I hate to use the pun, but I can be a real stinker. And I'd go out with my sisters, especially my middle sister, because it's it just cracks her up so much. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. He's a good son. He doesn't care. And it's just, you gotta, you gotta, I mean, I just can't, I, I shouldn't say I can't stop. It's not even like it was real. We were away for years ago when mom was, of course, in better shape. We uh, would have a weekend away for Mother's Day. We didn't go on Mother's Day. Um, but it was our time to spend with our mom to go do something, right, with mom. And um, hmm. this needs something. And sometimes we would, um, we went different places. But this particular time, we went to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And we stayed over a night or two. And we would do all the little shops, you know, that 
that us girls like to do. I'm not liking that so much on that side. And um, we went in this one little shop and I was carrying on. And Na my sister Nancy, she's the middle sister. Not only does she giggle about passing gas. I'm, I'm sorry, this is probably a terrible topic for this, this scenario. She's also very um, shy and private. She didn't want to draw any attention to ourselves at all. So you've got that aspect of it. Well, that just that just eggs me on, quite frankly. So we and Nancy is known to have a weaker bladder. So when we were playing in a girl's weekend away, she always would pack the pens. And she usually didn't put them on until after, you know, we would get to our room. Because, you know, Lori wasn't, hadn't gotten started and wasn't carrying on until we'd get to our room. So we'd gotten to our room and decided we want to go to one of the little shops near where we were staying. I know, right? Who can resist that? So we're in this little shop and I started, it wasn't crowded. There weren't a lot of people in there and I keep on pretending that I'm out of control and I'm just making noises with my mouth. Okay. And flipping my leg up like, you know, like I'm tooting in, in tune to my leg movements. Well, my sister Nancy starts, she can't, she can't control herself. She's hysterical. And she's saying to me, Oh my God, somebody's going to hear you. I'm like, we're never going to see these people again. And she gets laughing. I won't stop. Next thing she knows, she's saying, I don't, I don't have my depends on. I'm not wearing my depends. Well, hello, whose problem is that? Not mine. She's begging me to stop. I don't stop. I got to tell you girls, there's no, there's no stopping. It was just too good. She's running out of the store. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. She gets out. You know, like some of those little shops, they got a little sidewalk, a little patch of grass, and then the sidewalk, and then more grit. Well, she's in this little patch of grass, and she, she wets herself. She's soaked. She's absolutely soaked. We have a rental vehicle. We got a van. We had to put her in the van on her knees and get her to the room so she could get cleaned up. I was in trouble that day, for sure. In trouble. Okay, so that doesn't look too terribly bad. There's more I can do to that page, for sure. I'm just trying to see where I might... See, this would be a great journaling area where I might like to put on... Um, I look good there. Put on um, a piece of tinkle tape. Oh, these little stinking these little these little things are adorable. These paper clips, but boy, sometimes you lose track of them. Okay, so now a little something else can stick there. And these, when these, you're decorating your pages, it can be eclectic, right? Now you might have one that's a themed kind of a journal. And you want to do all garden stuff or you want to do, oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to do this. Maybe I'll do this and then I'll let you go. Um, you know, but flag paper clips and stuff like that, that all goes really cool on, and that's going to be a tight fit. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it, but I could certainly, I could certainly try. Ooh. 
Okay, so this I'm going to just glue on as a pocket. Yeah, what do you guys do with your Velcro pages in your journals? Do you just let them be? Let it be, let it be. Oh, that's kind of cool. If I put that, if I glue, if I glue that, boy, I could stitch that on. Maybe I'll stitch a piece of fabric on. That might be nice for a piece of lace that can hang out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This I took off the edge of, I don't know, something. Maybe an old pillowcase. Oh, yes. Let's do this. And then that can flip out. If they wanted to. Let's see. Where's a good place to start cutting this? This is kind of... Oh, no. Here's a loose end. You like the puppy over the patch of grass. Hmm. Oh, a, like a little puppy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, right. She didn't want to, right. We didn't have anything to rinse off the sidewalk, you know. I got you, Kimberly. I got you. I got you now. Okay, so this, this is kind of cool. And it's, um, it's a little rat -a tat there. What's going on with that piece? Yeah, now that's too lumpy and bumpy. Okay, let's get rid of this here. And I have plenty of this, but you don't have to do the whole length of, of anything either. See, once you get going, guys, I mean, it is, see, I'm going to put the, after you guys go, I'm going to go get some lunch. Oh, yeah, I knew there was a problem. See, there's a big hole here. I'm going to go grab some lunch and then I'm going to turn on the Phillies game and I'm going to continue to work on this because I just absolutely love doing this stuff. But you know when you were kids, I mean, it's mostly, I think, when, when I was a kid. We would get laughing, especially with our, our neighbor, Shirley, would come over for dinner. And we'd get laughing. And my father would not be happy. And he'd say, don't laugh anymore, you know. And he could get, my dad was just such a cool guy. He was so easygoing and mild-mannered. But sometimes he would just, you know, as in dad fashion, not get a bug up his butt, but just, you know, enough already. He had three daughters and a wife, four women, and just him, right, in a one-bathroom house. There were times where Dad had just had enough. <laughs> and we'd get giggling and couldn't, we just absolutely could not stop. And uh, I worked with a fella a few years ago quite a few years ago now it's longer than i think um three girls and i said to him does it ever get at dinner time he said don't even go there because the girls would just start at dinner time and they get the giggles and dad just gets more and more irritated and uh, that's how it would be when we'd we'd get out and be carrying on, and I'd see something funny or say something funny, which I, which I really didn't think was that funny. But my sisters, for some reason, my sisters think I'm hilarious. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even pay the money. I don't know. I don't know why. But um, it's fun to get giggling like that. All right, so I'm just slapping that on, that little extra box. See, and I got messy. I should have put a little something down. Nine. <gasps> right, right, exactly, exactly, Susan. They had to be strict. 
or they'd be loopy. I don't know if I get one of these terrible wipes that I have. I think sometimes this um, Fabri-Tac stuff kind of rubs off a little bit once it dries. We'll just give that a little, little rub. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, this is why our neighbor Shirley, who Shirley and I were the same age, and um, when she she was an only child, and so when she would come over and have dinner, I think I'm going to tack that down a little bit more along this edge. And we'd have such a good time giggling and carrying on. She just loved it because at her house, it was just her and her mom and her grandma. Things were really quiet over there. She'd come over and we'd get giggling and carrying on at the dinner table. She thought that was swell. Dad, not so much. I don't know if that's going to be quite enough glue. I can always add glue there. All right, so a couple of things I want to do before we go. First, I want to use some of this tinkle tape. And I just want to find a nice page to put some on. I might just look, a piece of it might just look good here. It's really not that big of a deal. So we made this earlier with cellophane. Um, like scotch tape, cellophane tape. I put it on acetate so I could peel it back up. Or so they say. I should be able to peel it back up. I'll get my little exacto knife. Now, sometimes it'll tear, it won't come off in a whole strip, which, like I said, that really. Oh, okay, Kath. So this really kind of has lost a lot of its sticky. So you just add more. Try to get your edges down. Susan said, Nick the Booksmith did a ver video a couple of years ago on pre-aging tape. It's cool. Oh, oh, cool. I didn't know. She oh, yeah. Johnny taught me how to do that. I think her and Nick are probably friends. I don't know why I think that, but I, I, think, I think so. Of course, you can do it more clever than, than I did it just there, but. You know, you can do that. So then the other thing I want to do before I leave is I want this to go over the top of the page. So this is the end of a, a um, envelope. A, uh, see like a, a big, it was a big white, it's not big, you know, a white envelope like this. Like this little coin envelope here. So I was messing around on my jelly plate, did all kinds of different, you know, things and stamped or whatever. And then I was trimming them because then I folded it in half, trimmed off the end so there could be pockets to make one of my pocket journals that I keep a variety of things in. I love them. I have like make four or five of them. And you know, a lot of us that do this mixed media stuff and journal stuff, we we hate to throw we hate to throw trash away. Okay, that's where it, it's what it is. I hate to throw trash away. So I thought, what can I do with this? Oh, the first thing I did, I think I maybe I glued that down. So I flattened it out. I don't have any of these done. 
Now this you could trim. I'm just going to glue this one down. I've got the glue on my hand, so I'm just going to see if I can get that to glue down. And then I'm going to flatten it. Open it up and flatten it. And then I'm going to push these and trying to keep that lined up. I'm going to crease that really well. Now you could trim off this other little piece here that doesn't. Uh, I try to keep the, um, the lines lined up. Like that fold line. This one's not cooperating. It's just a little off. There we go. Then I just folded it in half. Got extra thickness there. Now you might have to trim them if you don't cut it real well. So I started messing around with it. I thought, oh, you know what? This might be something that I could decorate the top of a page with. Or it could go on the side. It could go anywhere. It could go anywhere. Of course, I'm going to ink a dink. I'm going to ink a dink. Now, you may not be someone who likes inking, but I like it. Um, I'm just going to mention that Kathy Calico Kate is here in chat. Kath, maybe you could put your channel in. She put up a video the other day. It's really cool. She was doing ATCs and really grunging them up. And so she had used, I believe, her um, vintage photo type ink. But then she used... Um, ground espresso is that what you use Kath was that the darker color and then she used a ground espresso on the edges of her cards and it really looked cool and then she also tore and curled edges so you might want to check out that video um she had some really great ideas for her ATCs and of course you could apply that to a lot of different things right um so again you know you might want to stamp so let's just use this because I have it here. So we're just going to add a little bit of stamping. And then I've got this bumblebee. I love this little stamp. So let's add some of him. You're welcome. Put that there. Okay, so I'm doing both sides. Now you could use this, somebody could journal in here. So you might want to add a little something. And uh, this is where I should have pulled out some of those magnets. You could drop a little magnet in the points of these so it clips together. But I might use the Velcro because I have that. Eh, maybe I won't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You could actually even just glue down. Probably it would work. A paper clip. You know, so you could clip it on. Or you could design it so that when it goes over the top of your page... You use a paper clip with a and make a flag or something. You know, that works that works too. So there's all different things, but this basically is a piece of trash, okay? But 
they make darling page toppers. So let's get out our basket of goodies. So I already had the base, just added some stamping. So now let's add some other stuff. Let's wrap around one of these. And don't forget, I mean, for the most part, you know, I like overlapping stuff. So you don't have to be too cautious. It's just where you can use your washi tape. You know, I have a piece of this left over. I could put a piece of this paper lace on here. Fabric, let's see. This is kind of like um, linen type of kind of, I don't know, what would you say? A loose weave, open weave kind of pe uh, piece of fabric. We can stick a piece of that on. I might use my hot glue for that. I'll put that on there. Let's get cat one of cat stamps. Let's use one of those. Uh-oh. I lost you again. Oh no, did I really lose you? Are you there? Nope, you're still there. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's put, uh, he looks cool up in the corner. Let's put him up in the corner. But see, if you're doing a project like this and you've got all those, you know, you got several envelopes that you're, let me just show you, I'll show you one of my journals. And I've got lives on that, on the journals as well. Let's see, what else do I have in here that I can, you can put on a piece of ribbon. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can put on one of these. Let's put, let's put one of these on. Um, you know what, I've got a couple of these here. Let's use these little, these little things. Let me go. Okay, Kath. Okay, so I've got that piece of fabric that I put down. I'm going to pop a little hole with my pokey tool. Now, make sure you don't go through your finger. Put a little brad in here. So you can keep adding. It's like making a cluster in some ways. And then you find a page you want to put it on. So let's say we just want to put it on this page. Now, like I said, you could put a magnet in the bottom of each of these glue them in. So then when you put it on, it snaps down. But I'm not going to do that today. Let's just take that small, let's see, messy Bessie here. Keep, keep losing my, keep losing my stuff. I just had, I've got two X-Acto knives out. That, that's just silly. That's just silly. There's the pin. I was missing from a glue. Oh, for goodness sakes. What did I do with my, I wanted to, you know, you make fa a fabric flag. I think most of you know what. I'm just wondering if the replayers might not realize what I'm speaking of. 
goodness, I just said, well, let's use one of these crazy colors. I would not put this in the journal, but you just take a paper clip. I usually use large ones and you just take a few pieces of whatever. It can be ribbon. It can be uh, twine. It can be a piece of fabric, a piece of cheesecloth, anything. This is why I save all these little crazy little bits. Now, what did I do with, oh, here it is. What did I do, what did I do with it? All right. So I'm going to take a little piece of my hemp twine, whatever you call it. And sometimes it might be hard to push all that you want to push through and use on your paper clip. Use a pair of tweezers or something. If you're using mostly cloth, usually you can push it through pretty well. Let's add a piece of, I usually like a piece of um, oh, fabric of some kind. Like, um, you know, this dye, this is like the, the, um, like the salvage edge of something, or you could use um, sorry silk, something with that has a little bit more of a more bulk to it. See, like the ribbon and the twine, they're all just skinny, skinny stuff. And I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to push this through my paper clip, hopefully. If you push it through all together, it works a little better, I find. Now, you have to try to ignore that this is a blue paper clip. Because I, I lost the regular one on my desk here somewhere. See, and you just kind of make a loop. And then you just take your tails of your stuff and push that through. And you just tighten it up for the most part. Now you can do it different. You can just put it through, fold it in half, hot glue it. There's all kinds of, you know, there's different ways to do it. See, and then I would trim those. But see, you just got something cute. Now that's going to hold that down on the top of your page and sticks out the top of your book. So that's it for me for today. Thanks for coming in, girls. I appreciate it so much. Gosh, almost three hours. So, yeah, hopefully you can find some of these ideas helpful. Oh, you can, Susan? I mean, I have al alcohol ink. Oh, maybe I'll try that. Should I use a brush? Here, let's. Susan said I can dampen this. All right, I'm putting some of that ganache on my work glass here. I know alcohol ink will work, but my alcohol ink, most of it is. Um, Yeah, I think that's, maybe I should get the black out. I'm not get, getting it to, um, I don't really have a dark alcohol ink. But yeah, you can treat the, the metal. But I mean, I have I have paper clip that'll work. It's just that it's, bar it's, it's buried. I know, it's hard to believe, right? Buried. All right, so... There you have it. And if you've not ever decorated journal pages like this before, hopefully you'll find some 
thing helpful here that we talked about and did today, that would be my desire that you that I help somebody, you know, figure out something or got a few different ideas, you know, it's really nice. You like the blue? It doesn't look bad, right? Yeah, I guess I could leave it. Anywho, there's still a lot to do in this journal for my liking. But yeah, I'm not sure that this is metal metal. This might be some funk, something funky. Something funky. So again, thanks for everyone for being here. If you're uh, doing a replay and watching, you can leave me a comment, have a question. I love answering the questions that I get on my channel. I, I just think it's fun. So, anywho, have a good day. It's Thursday. Um, it is the beginning of the month. So, I know there's other folks on later today and throughout the day. So, enjoy. I'm going to watch my baseball game, have some lunch, and then come um, continue to work on my little book here. So, until I see you next time. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.